My name is Troy McDowell. I'm a Navy Diver First Class. My name is Jeremiah Lively. I'm an ND1. My name is Daniel Jackson. I'm a Navy Diver Senior Chief. As a supervisor now, I know I'm picking the right guy. I'm picking a Navy Diver to get in that suit and to go down there, and he's not going to tell me he can't do it. And he's going to keep going until he's got it done. He's going to ask me questions. He's going to ask for help however he can, but he's not going to say I can't. There's so many things you, you can do. Everything from photography to electricians, corpsman, x-ray technician, a laboratory technician, a surgical technician. As a diver, you can go to so many different units that have such different job descriptions. You can go to a SEAL team. You can go to a salvage command, and you can pull stuff up off the bottom, or you can tow ships back into harbor. You can go to an underwater ship's husbandry command, work on the bottom of boats or submarines. Or you can go off and you can do something like the Deep Submergence Unit, where we have the coolest equipment in the world, and go and dive to 2,000 feet like no one else can do. There's endless opportunity. I joined the Navy because of family history. It's something better than me. My grandfathers, my uncles, brothers, they were all in the service. And that means a lot to do something that they did and not what my grandfather on the other side of the family did. And that people can have the freedoms that they don't necessarily quite comprehend, but they can still have it. That's what it's all about. And I think that's what the family history is all about, why we have so much of it in my family. The first thought when people think of Navy is the underwater aspect of it, the divers, the EOD, the SEALs, anything that's got to do with the underwater operations. We're the forefathers of the underwater intervention. I'd prefer that nobody knew what I did. That's not why I joined. That's not what I was a Navy diver for, is for the limelight. The job itself, the ship leaving, going out to sea, or the inspection, everything being fine, or the patient being treated in the chamber, in the chamber working just fine, and the patient living, you know what I mean? Or, or making someone's life a little bit better. That's, that's, that's where the reward is. The Navy is preparing me for my civilian life. There are a lot of programs that the Navy's brought on to transition you once you're done serving. And great benefits, education benefits, Definitely creates opportunities for you that you'd never get in the civilian world. And they really want to get you uh, prepared. They have all kinds of college courses that you can take, and they will assist you in every turn with those endeavors. I feel very comfortable that I can go off into the civilian life and be very successful because of the skills that I learned while in the Navy. When you love what you do, and, and I can see my family, and I can see my friends, I'm, I'm happy. I'm going to stay in so long as I'm having fun. So 18 years later, I'm still trudging along, still loving it, you know, still look forward to my job every day. I look forward to the next cool thing we do. The link that I'm going to stay in the Navy is a, a lifetime. I'm, I'm, I'm a lifer. It is definitely a different, unique experience that you don't get anywhere else. I mean, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. The jobs that I've been able to be on, the, the, uh, the things that I've been able to do with the Navy have just been amazing. Being a Navy diver allows me the opportunity to do things that most people will never have the opportunity to.